Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. And Carter, he's uh, he's going to try this... Never mind, he's going back to bed. I was going to say he's going to try this whole uh, mining thing all over again. He ran it over here last time and had a meltdown, or almost had a meltdown. But he's doing a lot better this time. He has slept in a comfy bed this time. He has many fun things to do. He ate at a table. So we got some more pluses in here than we were able to make last time. So we'll see if it's a whole different experience as far as an outpost goes. Otherwise, everybody else is getting up. I've got everybody assigned to different orders. Simon's got a bunch of transporting to do. Rita has what? Oh, she's going to do some harvesting first thing. Um, Paulette's getting up. What did I assign to her? I want her to get some brick making done before she starts her day of cooking. So, lots to do. It is going into the autumn, and pretty soon winter will be here, and not much time left. So, got to get all the stuff done. Um, yeah, 240. You got quite a few of those. Good. Don't know how much room we have left in here. One of his assignments and Paulette's assignments are to get more of this stuff transported over. Um, Kana could do that. Yeah, she could. So, does it say which ones? That will just... I wonder if that cancels the other ones. Does Simon... No, he's still doing some. And Paulette... We'll find out. If by telling him to do one of these, it cancels out some of the others or not. But Simon is just sticking those wherever he can find room. <laughs> he's going to get some more. So kind of a maintenance episode of getting everything caught up. We need to get Simon up there to grab more of that ore and bring it down. In fact, am I remembering right? Was there still ore? A big pile of it somewhere over here? Right there. Okay. So we got to get to that one too. Uh, I was going to have Umayar do a bunch of work at the furnace. I don't know how much ore is actually down here. He may have to go make the run, but let's get all this stuff cleaned up and dropped off and it wouldn't surprise me if we don't get maybe one of these antennas up and running today pretty soon we get to find out what it means to aggro the local bug populations with your extra powerful frequencies there we'll find out now i asked edmund to also work on putting brick on well basically all the exterior fencing solar flare 15 items affected Everything with a CPU just went down. Great. Hope we don't get the attack now. I don't know if we're going to get an attack this episode. It was, well, two episodes ago when we did it at the very end. Because we cleaned it up last episode at the beginning. Oh, creepy music with the solar flare. So at the very earliest, it'll be at the very end of this episode. But most likely it'll be next episode we get our next scheduled bug attack. I do kind of wish those were a little more random. Kind of feels cheaty that we get to predict when it's coming. We should have no clue when bugs are going to go berserk. Uh, I, I asked him to do two, and he did two. Curious if he brought the brick over to all the rest of them, though. No, he did. So this brick lined up through all of these. Okay. I had him do three sets of two, but instead he is getting something to eat. <laughs> Never mind. Food trumps to work every time. Paulette is done with whatever she was going to do. It was just these last two that were available to assign. Umayar is still working on that stuff. So, Simon, you are gathering these. Then I asked you to move the stuff inside. And then, which would be more of these. And I see someone's already gotten most of that out. So, we're just about there we need to move this stuff out too and we can even move some of this out in fact have i taken the other sweet syrup off of that one as well okay how we may have enough room for it we might otherwise i'm watching umiar making sure he doesn't make a run up up above to get that uh uh that ore up on the side of the mountain Edmund is dropping off more brick. I want Simon to go and get it. But he needs... 
Actually, I don't think he really needs to go get some f dinner first. I think he'll be okay. He walks pretty quick. So, Simon, when you're done, haul that ore. You dropped it there anyway, so it'll be very familiar to you. <clears throat> Pankoff dropping in to, to say hi. Our local parrots. <laughs> okay. So, Carter, how are you doing up in here? Your happiness is forecast all the way up to there. Great. I'm going to work through all this, though it would be nice if you save this for a, a lightning storm. Let's have you work over here today. Work on those. And I see we have a bone crusher taking out our, our uh, crazy chicken. Yeah, taking out our Gujo, who is down to only one meat left. We should see the the end of the show here in a moment. It was taking a long time to take out that last one. And Carter's going to spook him away before. Yep. Oh, they're noisy. <laughs> All right. You are still handling furnaces. Great. <clears throat> Otherwise, you need to grab a meal after this one, so you should hopefully do that on your own. No, you're going to handle three more of something. So, you liked bread. We have no bread because we have no grain. Okay, these are all working. We can't work on that. Let's just have you grab a veggie soup and make sure that your food doesn't get neglected and become a cranky pants later. Edmund is rebuilding everything that that he's already dropped the materials off of and it's just one hit with a hammer. Well, okay, two that time. Boom. Well, made a liar out of me. Carter, you gonna hang around over here? Looks like you are. Uh, we could use a storage up in here, just a stockpile. And set you for... Um, or where would you be? You're crafting, right? Yeah. So clear all and or. So if he gets the uh, the itch to go and haul things, he can do that. Um, any more or? Oh, we got you guys over here. I don't remember seeing you. I saw something right up here, right? Right here. Yeah, you are a small nest. But I don't remember noticing this one. Uh-huh. But not close enough to worry about it. You went down finally. Right? Yeah. Still a lot of meat in there, but not much we can do with it. Carter can't cook it. Not worth hauling it. Simon is transporting. You're taking quite an interesting route to do it. Edmund is constructing a stockpile. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, Edmund. Let's see. Could he go up there and help? He actually could. Let's let him do that. Let's send him up there. Pooh rotted away. 15 devices. No research. Kana is... Instead of just getting that, why don't you haul a bunch in? Uh, haul. And I did ask Rita to plant more, and look how fast she went through that thing. Okay, so haul a bunch in, and then there are a whole bunch of them are right next to where you're working. That's better. Now, what else is going on? Queued up some more branches to be uh, cut over there. Umiar is handling fireplaces. That's right. We're warming up inside. Still 48 degrees inside. Okay. I had set them to be turned on. I guess they finally came up on the list. Of course, that's really for our comfort more than their own. Their gear will take them down to negative numbers, probably. And still be comfortable. But it looks... It looks better. Yeah. Now we need a music night around the fireplace. So Simon is on his way in with that ore... Umiar is going to be doing brick. Yeah. And he has plenty of food now. 
All right, who else? Rita is going to clean up these last bushes over here, and they'll, they'll be done. Prince, how you doing? Anybody been around to train you? Nope. So, Rita, what you up to? You are just bringing in that... Oh, you're getting something to eat. Um, tell you what, why don't you haul bush fruits in first? All these get something to eat, then maybe if I think of it, I'll assign you to, to train Prince for a while. Uh, Edmund, keep up with you. Still got a long way to go. Okay, Carter is finishing probably the last of his assignment. No, he's just going to keep working away on it. Okay, it's possible if I get Edmund to stay up here a day, we may wipe this whole thing out and be back in time for whatever the next attack is. If they can each bring back a pile of ore, then that might go quite well. Um, so Simon is doing other things right now. He needs rest soon. He needs relaxation. He's not going to make it there and back for an ore run, so we'll have to wait for tomorrow on that. Is there anything else around here that he could be doing? Anything on the ground besides all of the more sweet syrup that we don't need because we have too much of already? Um, I think he got all of that. So what's on the ground there? Um branches. <laughs> this must be everywhere that I stopped them on their way to go build that shelter. <laughs> no, no, no. Knock that off. He just dropped it on the ground. <laughs> Any other goods on the ground? Here we go. I don't know what to do with these, but yeah. Uh, you are not to replant. We just wanted to see what that would do, but we don't need any more uh, uh, antibiotics. We just don't need it. But I guess Simon has get these hauled in. Um, transporting, yep. Yeah. Haul these in and haul these in. And that'll be good for the night. Okay. Khan is bringing those in for her next project. And speaking of, we need to get a lot more electronics going. Let's look this over one more time. Pulse rifle required four power cells. Power cells we had set to two, so we need at least four power cells to build our pulse rifle. That was thunder. Electronic. So power cell needs two electronics. So yeah, we need electronics to eight, so that we can build four power cells, so we can build one pulse rifle. I think we're gonna go for one at the moment. Did we ever get the railgun sniper done? Uh, right there. We do have one backup railgun sniper. And too bad we can't tear down weapons. It's not a thing, right? Craft weapons. Craft. Control circuit. Yeah. Tear down or recycle isn't a thing. Love to grab the power cells out of those five pulse pistols. What are they called? Laser pistols. That we don't use. Alright, so... Rain. Okay, just rain. Edmund, you are now... Mining out Poe. Draft, undraft... Oh, there's only one bed here. That's right. You are not going to be a happy camper. You're really not. You're... Well, your happiness will last for some time. <laughs> yeah... Carter's going to sit, <clears throat> see if Edmund gets back in time to sit with him and talk. Having a nice conversation, I think, is a bonus over here. Ate at a table, enough food variety, many things to do. Ate a chef's meal. So, that's Edmund. Okay, so that's going to help him out for quite some time. Carter is now transporting, so they didn't get to spend any time together. But Edmund's going to get something to eat. Yeah, he'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. That's not good. But I don't see any other way around it. We could try and build a second shelter, but not worth it. Two days with two miners, and this will all be cleaned up. All right, back over here. Rita is taking a walk. Rita, uh, it's raining out. Prince, can you train Prince by command, or is that something that has to just happen? You can lead. Requires farming. Four. Rita. There we go. 
Yeah, I was read up, but I had Paulette click somehow. Okay. So you can train Prince. So why don't you go out in the rain and do that, and I think your happiness can handle getting a little wet. Otherwise, what's going on over here? Khan is assembling, Paulette is cooking. Umayar is handling a furnace still. Which means what? He's he's uh, he had to go get some some sticks to load up the furnaces. Alright, so I need someone to do some cutting tomorrow and bring more sticks in. Edmund is going to tap into the night. Carter's bringing more of his uh, daily haul. And we had a little bit of silicon there sitting around. Okay. And then what? <clears throat> Carter's going to appreciate a dog statue. It is 2300. Probably go to bed after that. And unfortunately, Edmund is probably just going to plop himself down there in the rain. Too bad there aren't any natural outcroppings or shelters. And that isn't a thing that they do. You're going to hit over here. That's fine. Umayar is handling a furnace. Oh, so you're going back to work again. huh? There's the ore. Ah, it's stored in here. And I think these are set to take ore as well, right? Ore, yeah. So we can default it there if we need to. Alright, so Simon is asleep. He needs some re relaxation and food, then he needs to make a uh, an ore run. So tomorrow you're going to grab a, let's see, relaxation first. So when you're done, you're going to play music. You're going to appreciate a shroom torch. You're going to eat a meat pie. And then you are going to... Oh, I can't get you to haul from there, but we still have some over here. Here. Yeah. So after that, you're going to store undesired items. That's right. You won't haul from here because we're telling it that that's where it's, it belongs. So I won't even give it the option to. Okay. Edmund, sleep out there in the, in the rain. Just watch his happiness plummet. Yeah, he's he's not liking life right now. Sleeping in the rain, I wouldn't be either. So he's soaked while sleeping is a biggie. That one lasts for 12 hours. Slept outside lasts for a whole day. Soaking wet, I think, just lasts until you dry off. He's got these, thankfully, and they'll last for some time. Well, only three hours left there. Hmm. Fun things to do. Okay, so the... The soaking wet went away. Alright. And this timer, I assume, is ticking down now. Discovered an ancient civilization is permanent. Uh, enough food variety for eight more hours. So these two will help offset this guy for a while. Okay. Well, they're doing their thing and everybody is sound asleep. Day 26 well into autumn now seeing some of our leaves changing colors yeah uh, been listening to the of the furnaces turning off got a timer yeah let's listen in there it goes I don't know if you guys could hear it I'll have to check my sound settings for that why are you guys always lit up like you're ready to be cut down because your growth is at 100%. That's why. Ah. It's treating it like a crop. Okay. Which means they'll then replant it again. So I guess that's fine. Um, so what have we actually gotten done brick-wise? I guess it's just this run over here. So Edmund's up. Oh, he's out over here. Okay. Carter's transporting. Edmund's eating. So, over on this side, everybody's asleep. So, it's just these guys that are up with a crack of dawn because they're kind of sleeping out in the dawn. Edmund, let's leave that for last in case that thunderstorm takes us out. Um, grab these guys. Mine those, and then mine that one. And that cleans up this whole back corner. Nothing over there. And then when you're done, head over here. Carter is transporting. And when
when you're done, you'll grab whatever is left. Mine those. That one. That one. And then you can transport the rest of the day and finish off over here. Maybe tomorrow we'll send you home. Um, Happiness-wise, you're making it. <clears throat> Edmund... Well, these will time out before too long, so I think he'll be fine too. Though he does not have the slept in a bed perk. So he may not last as long as Carter. I think that was one thing that kind of helped them to... help Carter to last this long compared to our first attempt at that. All right. <clears throat> Simon. You are going to eat, and then you're going to transport... Or great. Paulette's making foods, which means what? Don't have a lot of quick meals to make because there's no grain. How is the grain looking? We did plant it. Is that something that can get done in time? I mean, average growth 77%. Growth rate 21%. So that is the rate... So that must be the growth itself. So that tells me that it's three quarters matured. Am I right? So this is grain grass. As compared to, what was the other one? Farming, crops, grain cob. Okay. So the grain grass was much more. Output of 20 instead of an output of 10. Okay. So if that's 77% done, then we will get... One more round of it. Uh, where are we going to put it? Yeah. So, what is sitting out of the refrigerator due to this? Your guys' shelf life is... <clears throat> under a roof is still indefinite. Okay. I think we need to do this again, unfortunately. Yeah. Let's move you. I can't move it to there. Because it thinks there's a bed next to it. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, let's put you in a box. That was Edmunds. So Umiar is doing that. I need Kana. Why don't you come and do this for me? That was Edmunds, right? That's Simon. That's Carter. And that's Paulette. Yeah, so that's Edmund. So let's tear that one down. And don't... Oh... I kind of meant, you know, put it in a box and store it. I guess I... Okay. Well, let's, um... Let's make another one. Copy. But I want you... Oh, I can't put you by a window. Okay, then let's make Edmund a little bit different. You're going to be there. So, kind of build that one for Edmund so it'll be all ready to go for him. And then I want you to add more of these guys in. Right there. So, Kana, you're going to do that, and then you're going to do that. Since you've got some good construction skills, and you are the resident carpenter at the moment. These two are not assigned to this area anymore. Okay, three logs are not going to go very far. And out you go. Okay, so Rita is doing this stuff. Anything that's real important for her to do? How did Prince do? Where is a Prince? He's up here. <laughs> Got his head inside the barrel. All right, he is still tr only trained to level three. Let's get another round of... Rita's doing really good. Another round of training in. Uh, must be a timer. He can be trained again in one hour. Okay. Who we are, what you up to? You are handling these guys. Good. And then Simon is still on his way. He's in good shape. I want somebody, maybe Umiar, Umiar, to... I don't want to haul, do I? Maybe I do. Have you haul that metal, grab whatever the metals there are, Maybe you can fill up one of these. You have... Yo, you need power cells, too. Oh. I didn't catch that part. Yeah. So we have enough metal alloys already. 
We really do. We just need power cells. So you're ready to go. So Kana, when you're done with these, let's get you constructing this guy, even though it's not going to work till the solar flare is done. But go ahead and get that one done, and we'll be ready for when we need that. All right, so Omiar is handling a furnace, so this will come afterward. Rita is harvesting. Rita, can you now? Rita. Try that again, Prince. Do you see training in there? There it is. Train Prince not allowed. Okay, that's a different message than before. The other one at least had an explanation. Why would she not be allowed? Hmm. Don't know. Prince. Training. Animals. Heal. Train. Pet. Hmm. Okay. We'll say it's another timer thing. An undisclosed timer. You are now 79%. Maybe next episode we can get that one done. Simon, actually pop over to Edmund. He's doing these last things. Carter is eating. Simon is just getting here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Simon is hauling to the nearest storage place. <laughs> Okay, I'll let him get there and kind of rethink his uh, his priorities a bit. Yeah, this is a head slap moment. Okay, no, 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 no. You, all right, you are going to be keep empty, and you are going to store undesired items. Thank you. Now we'll turn you back on. Whatever that means, and please don't let it mean you're going to come back over and dump them into this one. Okay, so these guys are all keep empty, and I really want them empty and deconstruct. Okay. So he's on his way back. He's still in decent shape. Carter's picking up. Okay, so he's just got a long walk ahead of him. Too bad it doesn't light up his pathway. I wonder why it does on certain jobs and others not. And look at all the berries. Wow. A lot of wind up there. Alright, so Umayar is making wine, which we really don't need anymore. We have a lot of wine stored. That is... There you are, yeah. That I don't know if we're ever going to use anymore. So you are mirroring, mirroring this one. No more wine. Pause. I didn't mean throw it on the ground. Let's, you know, haul wine. Boy, you did not like that, huh? Okay, you have berries in you. So these can come right back out again. Good. All right, what's up? Oh, building our turret. And then... I guess I need to leave Kana alone. Is there anybody else? Paulette, you were also good at crafting, right? Yeah, you were the next best one. You were our original crafter. And... Simon wanted to be. He's seven. Okay. He was interested in it. So, Simon could kind of fill in and help craft these if we want to make a, a second of these benches. It might not be a bad idea. Alright, if we did that, we'll drop it into Simon's room. I want to say that's here. Okay. So, yeah, let's drop that in there. Make sure this is assigned to Edmund. And this one's still assigned to Carter? It is not, because he's officially up there right now. Okay. So Umar, oh nice, he's loading up the fences as he makes the bricks. That's a good feature. Now how you doing? You've been stuck outside all day long. Yeah, you're not in the greatest shape, but you're making it. So you'll be fine. Alright, Carter, 
you are doing a lot more transporting than you are doing uh, mining. Okay. Um, Carter, risk of meltdown, Edmund. Okay, you eat, and then we'll decide if you need to go home. With your eating happening, your happiness forecast is going up. But is it going to get you through the night? I kind of doubt it. Yeah, that's all we got out of it. I think you're going home. Okay, so changing your area to global. And what do you assign yourself to do? You are deconstructing something. Uh. Oh! Huh? Deconstructing, deconstruct. I'm not sure what that means, but it gets you running toward home, so I'll take it. Khan is working on that. Our new missile launcher is in place. Good. Let's give it a target area of here, but we'll change that when it happens. Otherwise, Edmund, you are running to there. Kana, Simon, he's walking the ridge to go home. Rita is transporting. Ooh, much more just got done. Okay, set you for replant. And anything here that's real important for replant? Silicone leaf? No. In fact, let's turn you off. Cloth blossom, turn you off. Glitter caps? I don't know, so we'll leave you up. I don't know if they can replant that or not. Rita was able to replant this. Edmund, you're just getting there. What are you doing and why? You're picking all this up, though you're calling it deconstructing. That's what I'm confused about. So you're picking these up, and if you're going to carry them all the way back home, then that's a no. Um... Oh, so the process of deconstructing is to unload everything. Okay. Well, we could do this a different way. Let's pick that all up. And we'll just set that right... Uh, right about here where we can see it. Now, how about you store undesired items? Holding your head. A little dangerous having you... Okay, that's that's far enough. Store undesired items. Okay. We are officially able to deconstruct stockpiles. So you won't come running all the way back up here to deconstruct these stockpiles. Now, what's it going to take to make you happy again? I'm afraid you're going to break before you get home. I guess I need to fill this up. I wish I'd saw that before. Okay, you are once again mining out Poe. And I want you over here to appreciate a dog statue real quick. You get a plus 18 out of it. And then, I guess, put you to bed and send you home? We are 2100, so it's going to take you half the night if you start walking now. Carter, you are... Yeah, you're pretty rough shape too. Let's get you to also appreciate a dog statue at the same time, and maybe you two will have a decent conversation together. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. So, going on down below, Umayar is transporting alloy. Oh, to build this guy. Okay. So, Kana. I don't see a Kana. There you are playing. Okay. So, Kana, when you're done, let's construct that bench so that someone else can jump in and help you. Edmund is getting there. Carter, you are also going to appreciate a, a storm, a shroom torch. Yeah, say that three times fast. And maybe the two of you will cheer each other up somehow. That would be really nice. Otherwise, you need to get a meal soon. And that's what I was about to ask a moment ago. You have two meals left. Edmund has two meals left. We're about done with this idea of, of a mining outpost. And I'd say that's fine. So you're shooting at a target to get another round of, of uh, entertainment in. And that's okay. You are... Boom. Okay. So Edmund, you're getting better. 
you're not crushingly unhappy now. You're not flagging our attention over here. Carter is about the same boat as you are. So what's he going to do next? Edmund's going to sleep. Carter, let's get you to also shoot at a target. Uh, practice shooting. I guess that's how it works. You'll do that. You'll get close to maxing that out. And then you'll grab something to eat and you'll go to bed and you'll be fine for one more day. Edmund in the morning needs to go home. In fact, let's just make that happen. So Edmund, when you wake up, Ah, uh, you need to eat, and I can't tell you to. I don't think I can. No, I don't think I can. Okay, so, Edmund, you're on your own. Figure it out. Um, but are you... Does it say? There you are, mining out, Poe. Okay. So, Reed is going to sleep. Everybody else is going to sleep. Simon is just getting back. He needs a meat pie, or like, really bad, and... There aren't any, so I guess you can grab a veggie soup. And then rest and relax, and you're good till uh, good for another night or another day. Okay, well, I guess that kind of finished off these two days. We're getting there. I've got 75 thumbnails set up for this series. So by then, we need to have gotten off the planet. We'll see if that times out right or not. Carter and Edmund are sleeping. Yeah. So I guess I'll just park it right here and tomorrow I'll try to get, our next episode, try to get Edmund home before he breaks. So it's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.